Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Try Not To Grin. We are back in the loveliness of our memes tab. Uh, check it out, check it out, your weekly uh, absurd humor. Uh, when I say absurd, it's very much mine as well. Very rarely do you guys upload stuff that I don't actually throw in the video. If it is, it's usually too long and I'm sitting there reading it for 10 minutes and I'm like, is this a lot? <laughs> this, I feel people would tune out. <laughs> so, so I make uh, educated guesses, which I'm oftentimes wrong on. But anywho, hopefully you jump into the Discord and check out the memes. Also, I'm thinking about pestering all of you. I just don't know how hard and how annoying it would be because I think you all just post a shit ton of your like saved folder of memes, which I greatly appreciate. Uh, but at the same time, I'm uh, I'm wondering if it's possible to to like, like, mass apply the spoiler tag into all of them so that essentially I can like unveil them per tick because that's something I've been dealing with as a annoyance thing. Like, should I just black? Like, should I cut out the in between so that there's not a spoiler for the punchline and shit? Should I edit the punchline out? Yes. All I'm saying is just to add those spoilers. I want to make it as seamless as possible. I just don't know if it's if, when you upload a shit ton, if it's a, if you're available, just to mark them all as spoiler, because uh, I would prefer that. Because uh, it feels kind of good to just sit there and like click unveil, unveil, unveil. You know, could just be me. If you could do that for me, I'd appreciate it. You don't have to, <laughs> but I would make it, it, would, it would be very cool. Mahoyo, we need a silence idle voice line option. Indeed. We are sick of hearing the same linear line over and over again. Hu Tao. Everyone shut up. Hu Tao is singing. Yeah. No, I, I can. I agree. I agree. Also, you know, this is just my crazy dumbass, but I, I, I haven't. Maybe in the future I'll regret saying this. But Hu Tao has like a voice that is just kind of really. I don't know. I guess it's just playful. So it kind of fits in any scenario because she herself is a playful character. Um, Ittos. Ittos is actually weirdly that too. I fucking love his voice line when it starts raining. <laughs> it's, like the, it's like the best. Because he's well, basically he's just like <laughs> it's raining. Uh, I didn't bring a, an umbrella because umbrellas are for losers. Uh, and he's like, wow, oh wow, it's really coming down. Hey, hey, can you get out your umbrella? Come on, come on. <laughs> he's like, oh shit, oh fuck, I'm getting soaked. <laughs> Please, like I'm cool, but you, you, you brought one. I need it <laughs> right now. And I don't know, there's something charming about that. Whereas Zhongli saying like. Leeway trades in commodities and we're fighting in a battle or we're walking in Mondstadt and I'm like what? <laughs> what are we doing? What has happened? Why is this a thing? You know, uh, but Ido and Hutao I feel like have that similar kind of thing Although Hutao does have just like a very like playful atmospheric tone I suppose which I enjoy quite a lot But when you have a 10 hours to save the semester, <laughs> I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't know about this also, that is a very hairy, uh, hairy man, but I appreciate the beard line looking clean. Dude, I, I'm so, I was never this person, thankfully. Uh, although I, I, peace be with you for those who, who, do, who are, who are the people who put it, like, save it to last minute. I was always the person that did it, like, honestly, I was, I was always really repetitious, but I just, my brain didn't know how to grapple and, like, hang on to information. So it was kind of all still a little woo-woo. Um, I feel like if I were to be put back in time... And essentially given a redo, um, I would, honestly, it probably be a bad idea because I would fuck the system. I'd probably like invest in Bitcoin and then the whole thing would just, the world would end. Some sort of horrible thing, right? <laughs> but if I could do that, knowing what I know now about how to learn, how to retain information, how to, how to like ex advance in a skill and to get good at any anything really um i feel like i would have kicked ass but of course that's how the life goes by the time you like learn everything your moment where you got the most opening to learn is gone and that moment was also filled with you having the most energy you could possibly have which is also uh, gone at this point you know so i feel like i don't know i feel like school is a little backwards in that regard but who knows nobody youtuber <laughs> youtubers and thumbnails <laughs> That's pretty cool. Hey man, you click on that shit. That's the one thing where like I go back and forth. I don't want to clickbait ever, but there is like statistical statistical analysis of like what people click on. And if you were to if your only objective was to get someone to be interested and to click and to have to find out what the answer to the thumbnail or the or the title which was reinforced by the thumbnail's question um, is, then you would then you would seek it. I think the thing where people get a little annoyed is when uh, when honestly when you're when you're like your monkey brain, your your lizard brain, when that gets preyed upon, and it's very obvious when it gets preyed upon. So, for instance, like the big titty thumbnail, where people are like, "I gotta check out this," and then you check it out, and then it's like barely in the video, or it's nothing to do with the video, <laughs> and you just your little perverted monkey brain is like, "You got me," and I'm a mad that you got me, and I'm mad that I allowed myself to get got. <laughs> okay, but I don't know. Like, is is the option self responsibility? 
Um, or is it the ability for like people don't for not to not tempt in the first place? I don't know. The argument feels like it falls apart because it it kind of has something akin to like the I can't believe those women are wearing skirts. They're trying to tempt me, and I'm like, ew, <laughs> what? You're gross. <laughs> you know. So I don't know if that plays out, but maybe there is something underneath that that's manipulative and maybe shouldn't be leveraged. I've yet to do it really. Every now and again, I throw an anime in there just to be like, ooh, look. Uh, again, we did an ab one, which I feel like is a little a little tame. Honestly, I feel like it's a little fetishy, where you're like, hey, people who like uh, buff anime girls, I guess. I got you, bitch. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's fucked up. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like there's more fucked up things, but... Ooh, um, are you okay? I'm okay. Immediately touches person. I don't know about that, fam. Maybe I'm just broken, but when, if someone were to just start, start putting their hands on me, especially like that like on my shoulder and then start pulling me in. I'm like, what the fuck is happening? Like, I, what, like, what, even with loved ones, maybe I just wasn't like hugged or had intimacy ever really. <laughs> but this to me would not be it. Although, what do you call it? Being embraced, it would probably be nice, but it's just, it is the context that this is the boyfriend. That makes sense. That's, I feel like that's pseudo adds up. But if this is just a friend or a random stranger who's just like, hey, I'm gonna hug you and not let go. It's like, bitch, you're sweaty. <laughs> Get away from me. I don't know. Maybe I feel like I've broken on this in this, in this topic. It's okay if you're not. Immediately starts losing it. I feel like this is an instance that, I don't know, starts to crumble, breaks, completely gets eviscerated. Uh, and his 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 uh, comment is, I'll buy you Primo Gems. It's always Genshin. We're, everything is Genshin. Genshin, Genshin, all Genshin. I don't know if I'm just not this person, but I cannot feel more alienated from this. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> Never once happened. Once in my life. <laughs> okay? Where anyone has been like, hey, but also, I know that's something that mom has, where she doesn't like uh, people, like, touching her at all, like, putting her arms on her shoulders, not like, she doesn't mind hugging people on occasion, but just doesn't like people on her. And I kind of have the same sentiment. It might be just because I have not had too much, uh, contact throughout my entire life, specifically within my younger years. Not that my parents, like, withhold that from me. It's just that I don't think it happened. Um, but I don't know. Also, I don't know, man. It could just be a man thing, or it could just be a person thing. I feel like it's maybe a person thing, but I do. I would. I do not want to cry in fr like and be held when I cry with somebody. You know, I want to like. I'm fine with crying and like releasing emotions, even if even if it's in front of somebody, um, because it feels good to finally ex exert emotion essentially. But I don't know if I want someone to be like touching me and on top of me whilst I'm like having this thing this is a response essentially uh again totally okay with crying do what you gotta do i do that constantly honestly dude i get i get to a limit where i've like it's been two weeks and i gotta do it like i'm just like i'm gonna cry over some stupid bullshit that doesn't matter i'm gonna get stressed out of my mind a person's gonna like talk about how an encounter that happened and how they're sorry about it and then i'm just gonna have a stupid response about me like tearing up and <laughs> being like oh this guy's so powerful in reality it's probably just me <laughs> being a little off because this also i've seen this happen for the course of my life with my mom, specifically with my dad, where my mom is just like, she's just sick. Like she has a cold. She's not feeling a hundred percent. Uh, and my, uh, and she'll come up to my dad just, and then my dad will like, she'll be like, I don't feel well. And then my dad will hug her and then she'll start crying. I think it's like a woman, like the power of estrogen and abundance of, uh, energy. But if you're also a dude, I think that's totally okay too. Uh, I don't know. I, for me, I just feel like when I crumble, when I start to really, ugh, I, uh, I find, like, I guess it's like, I trust me, I know me, I know I can pick up my, the pieces, I love me, uh, I trust that part with, with me, I guess. Maybe that's not good. What is this? Smile, smile, smile. That is a whole mess of, uh, highlights and colors, but it looks quite cute. I bet she's a wizard or something. Anywho, uh, okay. <laughs> is it just, it's fluff, it's a VTuber, trust. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like reinforcing stereotypes in my brain. Fluff, VTuber, bang. <laughs> it's our boy. Ooh, anime thoughtery, fucking our boy Lone Syndicate. Genshin, Sekity. Carthage, uh, pun. Uh, and yeah, uh, I received a marriage invitation. In the end was printed, your presence itself is a gift. We won't want any gifts uh, at the marriage. I read it again and was getting confused. Finally, I came to the conclusion that I am not uh, invited <laughs> and decided not to attend. <laughs> Your presence itself is a gift. 
uh, we don't want any gifts at the marriage. That's actually a really sweet, wholesome thing to feel like, because that's a, one of the things that people are like, yeah, we're gonna recoup some of our money by getting toasters and ovens. Um, or like little make makeshift hot box oven. Anyways, a wedding is a big ask. Like it's just a long experience usually. You know, you gotta sit there, you gotta stand around a lot, you gotta mingle. Ugh, <laughs> it's a lot. Also, it's expensive as shit. I don't know. Also, then you're locked. I don't know. I don't know. We talked about marriage one time on a, on a stream, and I feel like we all are on the same page. If you haven't seen the stream, apologies. What is this? Oh, is this the one thing about NFTs? Yeah, I seen. I seen PewDiePie just talk about this. Uh, basically, uh, <laughs> short of it, Keanu Reeves uh, was shitting on NFTs in a good way, where he was just like, "We don't get the money, and it's not like you can't." get the image so it's not like you're getting something although who's to say you couldn't just reprint a baseball card and i understand the argument of nfts and stuff but yeah but as of like people who who actually do the art getting paid i feel like those people aren't really like i don't know i feel like people just don't do that like i've known i think a lot of like business savvy people will be like hey could i buy your art for like you know ten thousand dollars and they're like holy shit ten thousand dollars for my shitty trash weird pencil sketch drawings whatever that took no time to make sure um rather than being like businessy and being like well wait what if i market this and, and do this i just don't know many art people who have that like that gunning it kind of feeling i know more and more art, art people who are like more in love with the idea of of the beauty and, and sanctity of art uh than they are about uh, leveraging and profiting off of it despite they will do it in other ways it's weird very weird i think it's best to be both <laughs> but but yeah my mom always said, work until your bank account looks like the phone, your phone number. Well, I did it. Available. Balance. I remember seeing 911. It looks like a whole thing. I don't understand. Oh. Oh, it's 911. So I guess you're a police officer? All right. <laughs> All right. They should probably just go ahead and turn the sign off until they fix it. Duncan D. <laughs> What is it supposed to be? Dunkin' Donuts? <laughs> Dunkin' D's Nuts. <laughs> oh my god. I think I gotta do that. I've had this this dream of mine for a while, but I've been really busy and I haven't really had time to really like nail it down. But there's gotta be like a Reddit that is just filled with those like, uh, like what is it called? Um, have you heard of both of these? <laughs> <laughs> like that, and it's like both of these nuts on your face. <laughs> but just to have like a fucking trough, just like a fucking bunch of these lines in your head, just to sit there and be like, <sighs> and because it tell me it's always so clean and so funny, and just like ah, it's also harmless as hell, at least hopefully. <laughs> but, but I don't know, man. There's something so charming about it. Also, I'm fucking cold. If you guys see me doing this a lot or like doing this, it's because I'm actually freezing. It's quite nice. I'm usually roasting, but yes. Uh, mythological beings in Genshin Impact. I can't see them. God damn it. Uh, Permafrost Deluke. Cryo DPS Eula. 67k. Healer Shincho. 10k healing. Physical Barbara. Uh, the Deluke one doesn't seem like we're getting that. Like, doesn't seem like the numbers are there. Ah, <laughs> like some. 70, so you can, you can buy with 67k. Just, you can buy. I just don't know if that's her, like, her, like, thing hitting. Because if it is, I mean, yeah, I guess you can get by, but it's not like a 200,000, which you can get. Anyway, uh, healer Shincho. Uh, Shincho, again, you don't need a lot of healing usually. And also, yeah, but 10k is good. I'll heal most people up to full. Uh, physical Barbara is just insanity. But apparently, 8k, again, that's not the worst. Although, I do think you would just, just play Yenfei. Actually, maybe not. Maybe with the new artifact set, that'll become more useful, but who knows? Do you ever cycle through the same four apps on your phone over and over again and feel like a tiger pacing its cage at the zoo? No. I don't know what this is. People have always talked about, like, phone thing. I've never gotten it. I, well, also, I just don't like texting people. It fucking takes too long. I hate the I hate the delay. I am bad at spelling. I'd rather just talk to you. But most people are like, I don't want to talk to people. And I'm like, why? Because you think I'll judge you? I'm not. Calm down. Just say what you want to say. Fuck. Anyway. <laughs> shit. Best I got is I have 9 gig. And you want to look at most of my app, my app status, it's 9 gig when I'm on the toilet. That's literally it. I know it's, it's like a disc. Who fucking 9 gig trash? I get it. But at the same time, it's just quick. It's like, okay. <laughs> and then we're done. <laughs> if you're doing this, uh, it's because you, like the tiger, need encouragement and variation in your life. May I suggest cramming uh, just a whole bunch of raw hamburgers into a, a pumpkin and rolling it around your enclosure. 
pupils dilate. Weird. Weird people. Um, although, I guess the first part of it makes some sense. I don't know. There's something to it. Because, to me, I, I don't have very, like, extreme, like, incredibly strange life. Well, with that being said, though, I do think it's the... I do have an ambition a little bit, like which is like to, to create videos for you guys to enjoy them and to hopefully grow this this crazy dream of mine, which is to make content for you guys and hopefully have a sus sustainable future for it, which that last part is going to get fucking real dicey real quick. <laughs> but anyways, um, but anyways, also uh, like ideals, things that you define yourself to be and things you hold yourself to and then purpose, the reason why you get up in the morning, uh, all those kinds of things. So if you have, have all those, I feel like they help push you out of your comfort zone and help you recognize when you're a little lost. Um, or following, uh, or like sequencing into a loop, uh, but yeah, anyway, opinionated bullshit aside, patience is a virtue, they say, god damn them, <laughs> Mahoyo, the game awards goes to Genshin Impact, we got primos, so it was not bad, I think, but regardless, it was, we, we were watching this on stream, and everyone was like, <laughs> huh, <laughs> Genshin, I imagine Mahoyo was like, Cool. But also, man, I don't know, the Game Awards did feel weird in that sense, where it seemed like it was super not about the Game Awards. Like, it was kind of like just a way for them to show new games and advertise certain things. Maybe that's because they know that's what gets more views. Like, views, like, world premieres will get more views uh, than, than, like, applauding old games. I don't know. And, and the reason why that's relevant is because there was clearly advertisements like The Matrix Reloaded, etc. That, that, that were garnering that viewership and etc. Like the Imagine Dragons kind of weird conversation and topics. But they just kind of like breezed by the like people that were supposed to be the Game Awards. The, the giving people who made the credible content an award uh, and letting them ramble. Also, I don't know, man. The whole idea that like, like there's like, I don't know. One of the worst parts about the Oscars is that people can actually communicate the fact that they tried their hardest with their work, etc. There are people who go on tangents and go for too long, but I just don't know if the Game Awards... If there's anything that should deserve a long, long speech and, like, merit of thanks, it's games that take four or some years to create. Uh, so, yeah. And who? Best mobile game? Th that. Genshin. Uh, League of Blank. Players who actually like the game. Players who just want Primo Gems. We won, baby. Bang. I don't know, man. Is there, I know, uh, yes, Primo Gems, lovely. Uh, but I also feel like there's a lot of, there's a lot of people who are now backing off because it's just work more, it's just more work to do at this point. Like, beforehand, it was, like, fun and cute. Like, we're like, ooh, Primo Gems, new characters, content finally, Jesus Christ. Um, but now, you have, like, five teams built, probably. Unless you're just getting into the game, which in case, you know, have fun, go nuts, get Primo Gems. But I feel like a lot of people who've been playing it for even a somewhat long time are now at the point where they're like, they've gotten a lot of the characters, and the only thing that Primo Gems offer you is maybe the ability to play kind of a little bit more, um, but also the ability to get characters. And I don't know. At, at a certain point, you're like, I mean, the team I made a couple couple months ago is still better than this one, but yet it's, it's new. But, I mean, it's not that new, and it's, it's kind of just the... I have to grind a whole bunch of new gear up, and it's just starting to feel like we're stuck in this limbo, constant thing, you know, which is why I think people are saying, give me endgame content, at least then there'll be a way for me to want to, like, test my metal with these new characters, these new builds, but that's not here, so we're just kind of chilling in a bad way, I think. This guy be like, sexual harassment, never heard of it. <laughs> What does it say? And then you hand touch their thing. Okay, that's yeah. This is some creepy anime stuff. Some harem bullshittery effort. Although I wonder how much of like attraction. So if one of those K-pop boys, maybe they'd get it out. You know, it's best not to assume. But feel like there's some crazy people in this world. Well, at least we should be happy for them. Genshin Impact players. Genshin Impact players. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be the the look of like uh, uh, when when like when finally there's the banner that people are excited for, but then the Genshin Impact players would be where people who have already spent on the previous banner and don't have any more Primo gems are kind of just like, yeah, they're they're saying that like, you know, is like the funnest character to play. Cool. <laughs> they're like great, awesome, <laughs> and uh, and it's always there's always that like. Thing, where like there's certain there's always going to be hatred for characters because I think that's the reason of like 
Well, I can't get them. <laughs> I need to justify my actions, okay? The amount of things that you learn from psychology that's like, the to me, one of the biggest poopas is that so many people think and do things unconsciously, but then will try to think their way out of why they did the thing or justify why they did what they did. So there'll be an underground, underlayer kind of reason for you doing something. It's like your animalistic brain or your whatever. And then oftentimes people will try to justify why they did what they did uh, instead of understand that where that came from, if they want to succumb to that kind of mentality or perception, etc. Uh, and go from there. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, you've been nothing but lovely. Forgive me. Every time I feel like the more we go on, like the first video, memes. Second video, very preachy. Although the first video, also preachy. Is it preachy or are we just hanging out talking? Probably both. <laughs> Forgive me. I'm that friend. You go to you go to get drinks and we're just talking about the word, the most bullshit, deeper meaning of life. And we're just like, dude, I just wanted to hang out. <laughs> I didn't want all this. This is a lot of baggage, honestly. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully you guys do enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you kindly for your time. Hopefully you enjoy the rest of it. And goodbye, my friends. Also, we stream a lot. Ah, I always forget to do it. Also, if you like the video, you're great. Ah.